Halo, I am from outer space. Guys, I just got off work. I have to like head to the airport right now because my flight is at 10. There's a doctor staring at me. I'm in the parking garage, so this is like really awkward, like just talking to yourself. Anyways, so I gotta go to the airport. I'm going to the Florida Keys. I'm gonna go get scuba diving certified, however you say that, I don't know. Head to the airport. Talk to you guys when I get there. Bye. I made it to Fort Lauderdale, but now I have to drive to the Keys, which is about two hours from here. So I am stopped at the farmer's market and I'm gonna get some coffee and make my way over there because I am tired and I don't want to fall asleep on the road. Good morning everybody. So this is day one of scuba adventures. I need to go eat breakfast and then meet my scuba instructor at the pool. And then at the pool we're going to be practicing all of our skills that we're going to be doing in the actual ocean. So if I pass them in the pool, I get to go to the ocean. Um, I also have to learn how to put together and then put apart all of my scuba gear um, and then I think we get a little break to eat and then we get on the boat and go out to the open water so I'm hoping I can take the camera with me um, I'm not sure how much recording I'm gonna be able to do because I'm like doing the training but we'll see just finished phase one of scuba class. They just made us do a lot of basic skills like holding our breath, um, losing our oxygen, recovering our oxygen. They just wanted to train us before we actually go into the ocean. So now I have to go eat something and then I'm gonna meet them at the boat dock and go out into the ocean. So. Okay, I've already broken in this car, that's for sure, because it's a mess. So I went in that restaurant and I told them, just give me some seafood because I gotta go. So when you tell people you want something to go, it comes out faster. I don't know why. So they gave me some shrimp. It's good. And a crab cake. Mm-hmm, crab cake. Okay, I finished eating. Now I gotta go to the dive center and finish this scuba expedition of mine. Uh, walking is very hard. Okay, I'm in a rush and I'm having to turn my com camera on every time that I have to record something. And it's like, I can't just be thoughts in my head. It has to be out loud. Oh, I'm blocking the way. Sorry, my fault. All right. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a shark. TTYL, y'all. Love you. Okay, guys. It's day two of my scuba adventures. I'm obviously awful at vlogging because I didn't even update y'all on yesterday's trip. But it was really fun. I got to swim with sea turtles. Uh, today I have to meet my instructor at the pool again. And then 
once we do more pool training we do two more dives into the ocean and then I should be certified so once I'm certified it's gonna be less stressful because I'm not being tested anymore I don't know what I was even talking about I literally lost my train of thought I need coffee <laughs> let's go get coffee can I have a coffee with almond milk That's it. Right. I got my coffee, guys. <clears throat> so now I am alive. You know what's crazy, though, is that I typically only need, like, one bag of green tea to keep me alive. But I think, like, because I'm on a nice night shift schedule and then I'm doing all of this craziness, like, the scuba stuff is making me so tired. I'm so lost, like I don't know where the heck I am. And y'all could probably see it on my face. I probably look like I'm dying. I don't even know. Like I look like a naked mole rat. But y'all still love me in my natural beauty. I know it, I know y'all do. It's all good. It didn't crash. My camera just fell off then, yeah. All right, I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all, so I just finished my last pool instruction. I have two more um, actual open water dives in the ocean, and then I'll be certified. I just need something to eat before I meet my instructor again at the dock, but I need something fresh. Like, I need fruit or a vegetable because I have been eating oatmeal and seafood this entire trip. <laughs> So I'm gonna go look for a farmer's market or a grocery store or somewhere that sells fruit and eat it and then go for my last dive. This is what I was looking for. Y'all think I can eat a whole watermelon by myself? This is how you pick the best avocado. Okay, so I bought some fruit. I'm gonna go get some ice and then put it in a cooler because it was just like sitting out there in that little farmer's market. So I'm gonna put the fruit in the ice and then cool it down and then eat it. And then off I go to the dock. Okay, I just put my fruit in this little cooler. Look at this. Like, this is me. Anyways, my fruit's in here. I just put it with my ice. I'm just gonna eat this watermelon right now. I don't have a very long time before I have to go. There's a little table out here, I'm just gonna eat it. So I just ate all that fruit, the entire watermelon, and the two avocados. The reason why I ate so much is because when you're only eating fruit and vegetables like that, you have to increase your volume. Um, you're not getting that protein that meat would give you that makes you feel full for a long period of time. I'm gonna be hungry in like an hour or two because this is basically just water. Uh, you do get your nutrients, which is really good, but it's not gonna fill you up. So I'll probably eat a Cliff Bar just so I don't get hungry during my dive and then I should be good to like four or five. So that will last me like four hours. I do encourage everybody to be vegan for a day just to get that vegetable and fruit intake in your body. It's so good for you. At least cut out dairy for a day. Like your skin will be glowing, I promise. Like, come on girl, just try it. And if you're like starving all day, eat some beans or lentils. Anyways, I gotta go. My next dive is in like 10 minutes, so. Peace out. Good morning, everybody. I am scuba certified. I failed to vlog last night after I got certified. This is my little temporary certification card that says that I'm certified. So now I can go travel the world without an instructor and just scuba by myself. If you guys are like interested in scuba diving or getting certified, I guess I could make a video about that and how you do it or what it entails. Just let me know. I don't know. Um, 
but it's about 7 in the morning. Oh, there's a kitty. Hi. Hi. Oh no, don't cats have like ringworm or something? <laughs> I probably look so crazy in this thing. Okay guys, I'm gonna go snorkel out here. This is behind my Airbnb. My Airbnb is over there. And you just kind of get your snorkels on and go down and into the ocean. Well, I just checked out at my Airbnb. It is time to leave the Keys, but my flight is not till 6 p.m. and it's 10 a.m. So I gotta drive to Fort Lauderdale and then I'm gonna hang out at the beach there, maybe have a drink, and then I gotta return my car and head home. But adventure continues. It's not over yet. I had to stop in Miami, so here I am. I'm gonna get a few drinks and then go to the beach. South Beach. I was at the beach for like an hour and I'm sunburnt. Like I never get sunburnt. You'll see my little burns? Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Anyways, I gotta go return my car and get my flight. So that's the end of my video, I guess. Uh, the end of my vacation. It's time to go home. Um, I do need you guys to comment on this video and let me know what type of content y'all want. Like, do y'all want meal prep, workout, more vlogs like this? Like, what do y'all want? I, but what type of videos? Like, I don't really even know what I'm doing in the first place. So, like, tell me what to do. Anyways, subscribe to my channel so that the next video I get, you'll get a notification. Like this video. That's so weird saying, like, I feel really weird saying that. Anyways, bye guys.